The Star of Bethlehem is a very common symbol of Christmas found on top of crutches, Christmas trees, put up as decorations in homes and offices. Being a feast of lights, Christmas features the parol as a sign of the Christ child, the light of the world who dispels the darkness of the night. Only the evangelist Matthew tells of the detail of the star in the Christmas story. According to him, wise men from the east saw a star at its rising and sought to adore the king of the Jews in Jerusalem. The star guided them to Jesus. Saint Matthew draws from the story of Balaam in the Old Testament, who foretold that a star shall advance from Jacob and a scepter shall rise from Israel. In the messianic oracles of Isaiah the prophet, he encourages Jerusalem to rise up in splendor, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord shines upon you. This oracle has been fulfilled through the appearance of the star, signifying the divine light, which enlightens and draws everyone to itself. The Lord has enlightened Jerusalem by His presence, so all nations shall walk by her light, and kings by her shining radiance. The Magi, traditionally named as Melchior, Gaspar, and Balthasar, were well versed in scriptures and astrology. They were attentive to the Word of God and let themselves be led by the guidance of that star of wonder, star of night, star with royal beauty bright. The Magi rejoiced exceedingly with great joy at the sight of the star when it reached the house where Jesus was. Did they rejoice when they saw the star itself or when they finally reached the manger? What is this star? It is the light of Christ, for when we follow Him, we too will have the light of life. This Christmas, let us be like stars who, through our self-giving, would guide men and women to the great star the infant Christ. Let us follow the Lord's bidding to be the light of the world by practicing good works so people may glorify the Father in heaven. By their nature, stars will die after their lifetime, after serving their purpose to illuminate the dark sky. Just like the stars, Christians are called to fade into the background after having led people to Christ. We do not attract attention to ourselves, but rather act as beacon lights, guiding people to the ultimate goal of their pilgrimage, Jesus Christ. Thomas Aquinas has said this beautifully, better to illuminate than to merely shine. It does not matter what the size of our star is or the intensity of the light that we emit. What matters is the effort we exert to enlighten others in the self-effacing attitude we practiced.